I'd just like to share a few words of my, on, on my grandfather, who was one of the most influential people in my life. I stayed back a few nights at the hospital during, his, during my grandfather's stay there. To me, he symbolized immense strength, great wit, and humor till his last breath. One day, the nurse came in to take a couple of signatures. He sat up straight and looked her in the eye. He took the papers in his hands, asked me to hand him his glasses, and read the document carefully before willing to sign. This is enough explanation to a lay person to understand the kind of man he was. I was appalled, yet again. It broke a lot of myths for me. Firstly, I could never understand how old he ever was. With his rich, silky hair and his brisk walk despite his many surgeries over the years, his remarkable memory and insightful open-minded opinion forced me to believe that age really is just a number. Later, when I grew up to know he was a seven-time winning member of parliament and was also in the prime minister's cabinet along with a huge following of goodwill that he has within the society, I understood what humility really was. For he never took himself, any position or power, too seriously. All he wanted to do was to help people who were in need. And he did. Literacy and education are very important to be able to succeed in life. But also, what I feel I have inherited, either through genes or by being around my grandfather, is the urge to be inquisitive and constantly keep questioning and learning. I know many people who are educated in good schools have the luxury of endless research sites, private tutors, and education overseas. And I can tell you that getting access to these great resources is just a start if you really want to do something meaningful in life. Think beyond the confines of textbooks and the newspapers. What the country needs more than anything today is a generation bursting with ideas to solve the many problems we deal with on a daily basis. And hopefully, in some time, people won't just expect their children to be doctors or engineers. My grandfather is a great example of that. He wasn't educated with any form of PhD. In fact, he was only educated in a Urdu-speaking school till the 10th grade. But his ability to foresee the future, think about helping others on a large scale with the minuscule budget, and the way he planned to problem solve takes me by complete surprise and leaves me in awe. He used to wake up at 6 a.m., wear on his pair of spectacles, swiftly read through his morning stack of newspapers, do his panayam breathing exercises, pay his respects to God, and begin his day with immense positivity that radiated to all those who lived along with him. What I absorbed through his schedule were a few things. Always be passionate and disciplined in life, in anything that you do. In reality, you are not forced or tried to do anything at all. We are told to do many things and told that blah, blah, blah are the right things to do in life, etc. But what we really need to do is to create our own principles with a clear consciousness and to abide by them in order to maintain stability and happiness. What is important is what we choose to do with the freedom we are given. Whether it is the choices towards his health and exercise, remaining connected and always maintaining his relationships, delivering his work commitments, or giving back to the society. He did it all, and he did it till his last breath. That inspires me. I hope today, recollecting these simple gestures of his life, we, we pay respect and remember him for all that he was. Thank you.